What's going on guys, thank you for tuning back to another video where today I am going to show you another tutorial on how you can make a profile picture for your YouTube channel. Very easy, very simple and it looks quite good as well. This works for Windows and Mac. And yeah, so the first thing you need to go is go on to pixelr.com. Easy, just type pixelr.com. And the reason why we're using Pixel is because it's very simple to use and very easy. Um, so basically, if you're uh, go in your browser and uh, type in Pixel.com, uh, Mac or Windows. Once you're on, scroll down a bit and then it will come to two options: Pixel Editor and Pixel Express. Click on Pixel Editor, launch web app right here. Click on that. Okay, guys. So once it load, once it loads, it will come up to zero. It will say pixel editor, and it will say D. What you need to do is click create a new image. Click create a new image, and then um, name it whatever you want. So let me just name it profile pic, and then uh, make sure here when it says width, where it says width, change it to 500 and change the height to 500 as well. Then click trans, tick the box that says transparent and then click OK then it will come up with this and if it when you uh, went on to it if it didn't come up with that pop-up bo uh, box if it just came out straight to this where you do file um, new image and then you basically do your settings here but here so once um, it came uh, you did all the settings I show you then it'll come up to your profile picture and this is where your profile picture is going to be so the first thing you need to do is find a background, whatever you like. So go into Google imagery, Images. So once you're on Google Images, type whatever. So I'm just going to go for a blue uh, background. Just type whatever color or whatever gradient. If you want a matte background or a um, whatever background you want, I'm just going to go for. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for a normal black background, plain one. Uh, let's just choose this one. Yeah, let's just choose that one. So then, it, uh, once it's on, if it comes on, plus, and um, plus, okay, okay, there we go. Okay, stay forever for some reason. It shouldn't come one second. There we go. So once it's on, what you do basically do right click, click save as image, or if you're on a Mac, I don't think you can do that. I probably you probably can, but I don't know. Click right click, save as image, and then save it wherever you like. I'm just going to save it on desktop. And then once you uh, click wherever you want to save it, basically click OK or save, and then it should save. So once you save it, what you then go go back onto the website, and then what you do, you click File, Open Image, click File, Open Image, then find your background. So my background's right here. Click Open, and then it should open up to here. Next thing, what you have to do is click Control A on your keyboard. Click Control A if it's Mac, is Command, and then click Control C. So click Control A, Control C if you, uh, if you're Mac, then it's Command. Uh, then click Control A, Control C. Once you did that, go back on your profile picture and click Control V. Then it will come up onto your profile picture. Then what you can do, you can close this, this closer, and you don't have to save. Then it will come up to this. What you can also do, you can move it around where the perfect uh, where you want to do it. So I'm just going to go for around like here you can also do uh, so you can move around with this if you select the select tool right here move tool or you can do if you click on edit then click uh, free transform um, then you will you should be able to okay I don't know I, I thought I thought edit I think it's oh yeah I think you have to select it first but yeah so you can move around all that make it small make it a big oh yeah you can so if I because this is quite a large image then what you can do you can make it smaller so if you click control and shift on your keyboard then you can go uh, make it small or big however size you want to do it I'm just going to go roughly around here and then yeah that's pretty much done then click uh, uh, click uh, outside of the box and click apply changes yes so then this is your background for your profile picture what then you need to do is almost done what then you need to do last bit is click on this a where it says a type tool click on that and then just uh, click on the your profile page here and then name whatever uh, YouTube channel you have or whatever the name of the uh, channel is or your initials whatever you want I'm just gonna go with um, I'm just going to go with my name, Abid1702, and then what you then do is you can highlight it and then you can choose a color. I'm just going to go for a straight white. You can also change all the colors all around and stuff like that. I'm just going to go straight white. Um, you can also change the font, uh, whatever you want. Also, downloaded fonts, if you have any downloaded fonts, it's always here as well. I'm just going to go for Batman Forever. Um, this is a downloaded font as well, so I'm just going to go for that. Uh, obviously change the size so I'm gonna make it quite a massive quite big actually I'll go for full maximum 
and then the last thing is wait I should have showed you then last thing is you can change the style you can change it to bold regular bold italic bold slash italic I'm just gonna go for yeah I'm just gonna keep it regular wherever you like and then where it says align click on the center one so it's all straight and good so then click OK and then now what you need to do is uh, select your thing uh, and then move it roughly around in the middle just like that now the last thing is um, um, change the text and all that stuff so what then you need to do so make sure um, this is tick and yeah so make sure that's tick then what you do that star thing right here like a layer styles where it says layer styles click on that and then you'll have these layer styles there's this drop shadow, there's inner shadow, there's bevel, there's outer glow, and an inner glow. I'm just uh, you, so you can whatever whichever one you like. So drop shadow will look like that. They so say will look like that. That's quite nice, very decent. I'm actually going to keep that. Uh, look, that's it. That's that's before. That's after. So drop shadow, I'll keep that. You can add the inner shadow if you want, like that. Um, without the drop shadow, you can keep the inner shadow, but I'm going to keep the outer shadow. You can do the inner shadow. You can also change your opacity, distance, and all that. So you can change it how opacity you want it. Oh, that looks quite nice. But I'm just gonna keep it at that distance. But yeah, you, you shouldn't mess up and the size. But yeah, I'm not gonna go for it in a shadow. I'm just gonna leave it with the drop shadow over here. You can also add a bevel. Um, if I click on bevel, so yeah, bevel basically makes it a bit 3D-ish. So you can add that. You can also add the outer glow, inner glow, all that stuff. So as you can see, that's the inner glow. This is the outer glow. Um, so yeah uh, I yeah so you can add all that stuff you can mess around uh, I'm just gonna keep it added this is simple one obviously you can customize it or change your color whatever you want you can add a bevel all that stuff bevel is actually quite good if I change the size you can you know you can customize as you can see make it a bit 3d ish you know you get me you get me and all that stuff so you can mess around with that so once you did all your settings and all that basically click here where it says okay so I'm just gonna keep the how to go click okay and then boom that's pretty much it last thing you have to do if you want any like um, other images you want to put it is simply if you're doing gaming then then you can put like a game controller or whatever so I'm just gonna go on to finding a game controller obviously going back in Google images you do the right click save thing again um, but I'm just gonna pick like a overlay thing that you can have so if I go for um, there we go games controller right here right here click OK and it will come up with this once it came up with this make sure it's transparent actually so that's the wrong one so let me just open one more time and write I should write game control but I don't I think it's picture one or something like that so yeah, wherever you want, save it from Google Images, save it desktop, wherever. So I'm just going to choose that. Click OK, so game control. Make sure it's transparent. If you know it's transparent, it has the uh, che checkered background. Once you did that, as I said, same thing, Control A, Control C. And then you can close it, don't save changes. And you can click Control V on this. And then as you can see, it will be like here. You can move around with the move field. And obviously, as I said, if you click edit and uh, free transform, you can make it smaller, all that stuff. Oops. Yeah. Uh, yeah well yeah it will go like this you can do that or if you don't want if you just want to straight down like that and don't mess around like that what you need to click is on the keyboard control and shift then it will just go simply like like straight like that and then I'm just gonna make it yeah that's a decent size then you can drag it wherever you want you can also rotate it but if you go on to this then you can rotate it however you want I'm just gonna keep it like that and obviously if you want it behind your um, uh, your text what you do so if you find a layer if you find a layer here make sure your title or your text is above so yeah it's click yes obviously apply changes then uh, make sure t te text is above the layer so just drag it at the top and then boom as you can see it's at the bottom now it's not the best looking thing um, if you want to uh, move it again as you can see I can only move this if you want to move that drag that to the top and then you can move it simply like that drag that back but yeah yeah, that's pretty much it for this easy YouTube profile picture this doesn't only you can you can do it for uh, other stuff as well this is not only for YouTube this works for Twitter whatever profile picture you have Facebook whatever but yeah that's pretty much it you can add all, all sorts of sorts of stuff right here but the final thing is click file save right here file save make sure your quality is 100 click yeah you can name it profile picture jpeg jpeg click ok and then find where you want to save it i'm just going to save in desktop name whatever you want click save and then boom it will be saved just like that so yeah that's pretty much it for how you can make a profile picture on 
uh, for YouTube, Twitter, whatever. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you guys did in uh, help. Make sure also to comment down below if it did. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if it has. Also comment down below what other tutorials you want to see in the future on my channel. Also check out the tutorials pl tutorials playlist down below in the description. But well, thanks for watching once again. Hope you guys hope it helped and hope you guys uh, um, take away from this. Thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys in. Thanks.